Okay, my family, I have a word from our sister, Deborah Waldron Fry. You are a golden warrior. This goes along with a message I gave, a personal message that I received with my kids at school about those of you who are not yet receiving messages yet, but who are praying every day to the Lord and seeking Him and loving Him and doing your part by showing His light of love through you daily. Beloved, I have hidden you away for a season. I have been teaching you to hear my voice and to reject any other. There is a time like no other. It was so important for my end time army to be totally mine, and you are. I have been with you through it all, dear one. The enemy has tried many tactics against you. He has been confused by your steadfast faith and love through all of his evil plots against you. He thought you would fold. He thought you would defect to the other side. He thought you would give up. But I tell you the truth, my child. His attacks have only served to make you stronger. As they have turned you into a golden warrior. You are holy to me, set apart. The brightness of my glory and your armor of light is blinding to the evil ones. For I have taken what the devil has meant for your destruction and turned it around for your good. He has seen warriors in the past, a few here and a few there. But this is different. This army you are part of is glorious to behold. You have become one in me. One voice, one purpose, one leader. The Lord of hosts is my name. The Lord mighty in battle. A thousand shall fall at your, shall fall at your side and ten thousand on your right hand, but will not come near you. No power of hell can overcome you when you walk by faith. The weapons of your warfare are mighty through your God. My royal army is now ready to be revealed in all your glory. I am so pleased with you, dear child of mine. I call you forth now to do a mighty exploits in my name. You are my fearless ones who walk in pure and undefiled love. I and you and you and me. Nothing shall be impossible to you. Rejoice, beloved. Your God arises and his enemies are scattered. The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by the day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Psalms 91, 5-7 When he has brought out all who are his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep shall follow him, because they know his voice. John 10 and 4 And we know all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 and 28 Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered, let them also that hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before the fire, so let the wicked ones perish at the presence of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Psalm 68, 1 and 3. Continue to seek him and prepare your hearts. Ask to look at others through his eyes of mercy, love, and grace. Ask him to change you. Ask him to renew your heart and your mind. I believe that what many people have been seeing and what they have been told was for them to prepare for the transformation. for him changing his believers of faith and transforming them. Into his end time army, his glorious golden warriors. As with every message, please take this into your prayer closets. 
Please seek the Holy Spirit of God for confirmation. Please continue in faith. Continue holding up each other and not tearing people down. Continue being the Good Samaritan. Continue letting his light shine through you. Show his fruits through you. The enemy has attacked many, and he will not stop. He will continue. But if God be for us, who can be against us? No weapon formed against us shall prosper. He goes before us, and he makes the crooked pathway straight. He has given us power and authority to trample upon the serpents and scorpions sent against us in Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name. Glory to God in the highest, for he alone is worthy of praise. I pray the blood of Jesus over this audio message and over any and all who listen to it. I pray that he would put his fiery hedge of protection from the throne room of Father God around your homes around your vehicles, around your families, around your pets, around your places of work and worship, and around your children's schools. I pray for you all, my family, that you are seeking him daily and getting into his word. I pray that you have prepared your heart In Jesus Christ's most holy, holy name, God bless you all.